Hey guys, it's Monster Camera here today, and um, for today I'll just be a talking head. Um, but I wanted to bring up a, a slightly technical, um, you know, vlog about uh, the new Mali uh, T604. So um, uh, it was um, unveiled at SIGGRAPH. I made a post about you know what SIGGRAPH is a couple of days ago. And um, they uh, and Gadget had a post on it, so uh, if you want to read up on that, you can just go search in Gadget. But it's a uh, Arms uh, new Mali uh, design uh, for their uh, for the next gen SOC. Uh, uh, SOC is like uh, the upcoming Samsung 5250 um, Ex Exynos uh, uh, SOC. Um, and probably uh, am logic and rock chip to follow in a couple the coming months um, but what's uh, interesting about this new chip is that it supports the new uh, glass uh, GLES uh, 3.0 specification uh, with that comes a new a ASTC and asynchronous texture compression I might be wrong on that uh, texture compression algorithm or I don't know if it's an algorithm forgive me um, so you should get really high quality textures with minimal impacts on storage um, um, so yeah so that's uh, one of the later things and um, there was a, a tech demo there uh, um, uh, arms and Samsung's Timbuk2 Timbuk2 yeah the Timbuk2 demo um, that they had uh, you can see it on armflix on the arms uh, uh, channel um, it was a you know physics based um, game demo, of, you know like a buggy in a, in a, a dusty environment, and it showed you the potential of the Mali 400, which today, is, I think is one of the better GPUs out there, uh, especially when you come when you compare it to uh, when you think about power consumption to performance, you know, power, but yeah. And then they had the newer demo, which utilizes the new um, GLES uh, uh, specs. So you had, you know, better uh, texture support. You had um, uh, self shadowing, better shadow support, and better shader support, and it looks really good. Um, but a couple of things uh, came out of the rep um, talking about the device. Um, their um, their demo that was running on the um, um, the GS2, the Galaxy S2, was running at um, about 40 frames per second, and uh, when they put that on the next gen SoC, you know, allegedly the 5250, um, it ran 120 frames in some in some instances. So we're seeing about a 3x uh, performance delta between the um, the uh, the current gen Exynos uh, and Mali 400. That's usually clocked about 266 megahertz um, in a quad GPU design for the 4210 and the 4212. I'm not sure about the 4412 uh, if it's clocked at 266 or 400 megahertz. Um, and uh, the newer um, SOC, which we don't know the clock speeds for yet because it's, they didn't uh, give us that information. Um, but uh, next generation well current generation Mali uh, current to what I've seen on forums and smart people than me have been talking about hits about um, 10 gigaflops you know and a gigaflop might not be the, the absolute uh, unit for measuring performance between you know different architectures but um, it's said to be sufficient um, currently um, the uh, 40 the 5543 uh, mp4 in the iPad and the PS Vita gets about 30 to 40 uh, gigaflops of compute power and um, believe it or not um, uh, your fusion chips the C50 the C series the E series they get um, 40 and 80 gigaflops uh, more or less uh, uh, um, respectively so Believe it or not, your ARM chipped uh, cell phone isn't that far from a netbook. It was never that far off in the first uh, place, because uh, Veronix did articles comparing the um, the TIO Map 4 series to uh, N270 Atoms, and it showed that they weren't that far off. 
but uh, yeah, in two years x86 will be uh, uh, arm will catch up to x86 the, the lower end cores or the older cores like uh, core 2 duo and um, the core series and the AMD K8 series so I don't know you know risk died when when uh, arm came out you know they killed MIPS they killed all the other architectures spark and all the other ones so it is x86 was dominant but um, this is a resurgence of MIPS uh, especially arms arm because you still don't hear anything about MIPS architecture oops this is a resurgence of risk architecture um, well, I'm rambling now but it's interesting to see what will happen in a year or two. Um, maybe Intel will buy back or a, a license for ARM because they, they did have a license for ARM. I think they they spun that de uh, department out uh, as a wholly owned subsidiary, but I'm not sure. Um, and um, AMD still has a license for MIPS, um, but and I think they just bought a license for ARM as well with the new HSA stuff. Um, I don't know. It's it's going to be interesting, I can tell you that.